Sorry about the way Sí, but you say, hey, coach, Wilmer Cabrera, your thoughts on today's uh, one zero win over San Jose Earthquake? Well, it's been a, a tough year for us. It's not cheap. But um, if we go to the re reality, uh, you're, you're as good as your last game. And today we battle. Today we we went with a mentality to continue pushing for a good result. Good result, and if we review what we have done in October, we won three games out of four. So we started to build in something at the end, and I would like to give credit to the players for never give up and for uh, at. At the end, when the most difficult moments came in, they stood up and they did it for themselves, did it for a franchise that is going to disappear, maybe, and did it for the front office that they were working so hard. So I really appreciate that effort, and I'm proud of them. I'm proud of this, this organization because in this year we have learned and we have suffered a lot, but it's a very good and cool. we are more well prepared for what is coming for all of us in all sense. Uh, players, staff, work so hard, and the front office. We will now proceed to the Q&A. Scott? Uh, one more, can you talk a little bit about the emotion of today? And also, how, how big a deal is it to finish seventh? Yeah, no doubt that it's a, uh, an emotional moment for the players, for the fans, that they were they were pushing, and at the end, they're still over there, uh, you know, waiting and saying hello and with the gratitude. So we have to uh, understand that we need to take care somewhere, somehow, these people. And um, the players uh, show that mentality today. It's not easy when you are uh, when you're a player and you have to receive that amount of pressure. Um, but uh, I think we took it well, and the players show good effort. We create some good options. We play, uh, especially the first half, with a good possibilities to create options over there, and we score. Uh, the second half, obviously, we were a little bit more um, holding, waiting. San Jose is a team that it was in a similar situation than us, fighting. Um, but we could uh, keep the zero on the gun, and we did a good defensive shape, and it was good for us at the end. And finishing seventh? Finishing seventh is something that this team has, hasn't has done in, I don't know how many years, but five, five years. years. So that proves that uh, the job done here was uh, a job that can be uh, can be better if we have all the resources and all the support from the beginning. And uh, definitely shows that we, we acquire some players at the end, but uh, it takes time to accommodate players. It takes time to yell the team, yell the locker room. But uh, we show that uh, uh, it was uh, feasible for us, it was possible for us, and we did it. What comes next for you as players? And I know the line is, we don't know, we have to wait and see, but you can't live your life waiting for somebody else to do something. What do you and the players do tomorrow? We're going to get together, and I'm going to um, talk, and the president is going to talk with all of us as a staff, as a club. We're going to talk, and after that, I'm going to talk with the players individually, and I'm going to give some uh, uh, review information and packages with them, how they have to be able to maintain themselves until we receive some news. So we need to be, we need to continue being professionals until we know what's going to happen. The official news that should come from the office, from the from MLS, uh, and then you know some players they they're gonna they have to be looking for their, their future right away, uh, and I think we understand that uh, and. In, 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 in terms of the staff, uh, we, we're going to do the same, waiting, but uh, you know, if it's a, something 
we have to start looking because we're in a little bit in an uncertain situation right now. Can you describe what this entire season, the entire process has been like, and is, is it kind of a, a relief now that it's over? Uh, yes, because we've been, we've been living the whole year since the, the starting, the started of the season, we've been living in like, uh, who's the owner, what's going to happen, it's going to be, uh, you know, no more franchise, no more team. So that's not easy to, to deal with. And when you have to deal with that every day, you get burned. Uh, and when you have to come every day to, to motivate players, uh, because soccer is not only running and kicking the ball. Soccer, soccer is a mental game. And when you mentally have to say, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be okay, let's do our job, uh, you have to be creative. And I want to, in, in this case, my coaching staff, I, you know, I have to give every credit to them because to keep all those players motivated, that's something fantastic and I really appreciate that. And obviously, uh, the president himself was, was unbelievable. Please. Uh, just uh, your own future, you talk about the players and where they might, they might go yourself. Uh, how, what, what prospects do you have? Is it important for you to, to get yourself out there and get somewhere else if there's any other opportunities? And how are you dealing with all that? I don't know what's going to happen with me, but the thing is, I'm totally sure that I'm going to be involved in, in the sport that I love and the things that I know I do best soccer and uh, I'm prepared and today I'm more well prepared than one year ago or at the beginning of the year for all these learning process that we have to go through. We are better coaches right now than one year because we have to deal with things that we were, you know, they don't teach you that in any kind of uh, license or seminar. This was very tough for the players, from the staff, front office and for us. And right now we are more well prepared and we have a good motivation to continue because we finish winning. And that is important. Two more questions. Considering this uh, entire season was a purgatory, was this stuff the audition for your future job? I'm sorry? Considering the, the, this whole season was kind of like a purgatory type state because of uncertainty, was this like an audition for your future job? I hope it's, it's that way. Uh, yes, I'm. I'm already definitely. I'm already as a person. I'm already as a as a professional. I'm already as a coach. So yes, it's been it's been positive. Uh, even though it's been a lot of problems, it's been positive because when you can say, with all these problems, we have done better than the past five years for this franchise, uh, and with less possibilities, less resources, and more difficulties, you have to see something, uh, some light at the end of the tunnel. Final question. Okay, um, nos ha dicho que un año para el equipo y para usted. ¿Ha significado este último juego un alivio, ponerle fin a un año tan complicado? Significa un alivio terminar ganando. Significa un alivio terminar ganando en el mes de octubre cuando está este equipo no había ganado en los últimos años un partido en el mes de octubre ganar tres y terminar de séptimo significa un gran alivio y, y significa que el equipo los jugadores nunca se entregaron um, it means a very good relief for us to win this game today because we have won three out of four and when this franchise hasn't won in October, in the past seasons, and we can bring three games out of four, and we can bring a, a position that is a seven in seven plays. Uh, we can then say we're going to look down to some teams that they're more organized, with more resources, with more possibilities than us, and we, with our situation, we did better than that. Thank you very much.